guys morning uh monday morning actually oh man hope you guys had a great weekend um this week our theme is kind of going along with what's coming up this weekend i think it's this weekend right? it's, uh july 4th right so merc um so today we're going to start off with of course the first thing that popped in my head when i was thinking about merc <laughs> um, the bald eagle. So I was thinking of a cute, and a cute, no, a tough, cool looking little eagle. Okay. So what we're going to start off with is his wing. I know that sounds weird, but I got an easy way to do this. So over here for this wing, we're going to start off with it right about here and we're going to draw curved on one end pointed on the other okay no, that sounds weird but it's going to work I promise okay now coming off the top of this wing we're going to do a couple of zigzags more like the letter M okay then this is going to curl up and over and stop. So kind of like a upside down J, right? Or like a hook. For the this part, for the beak, oh, excuse me. <laughs> Pardon me, guys. For the beak, we're going to take and curl in. Angle down. And then we're going to go, kind of curl it, go out, curl it down, pull it back in, to right there. Looking cool, right? We can take this, bring it down to there. Starting to come together. Okay. For the mouth, we're going to take curl in and down. You get the beak. And draw the little nose hole in the beak and color it in. Now, for this, we'll make them look tough. So, I'm trying not to make them look angry, I'm trying to make them look tough. You know? So, we're going to take and do a curved line like that. So, it kind of bumps and curls. And then for the eye part, we're going to do a, a circle. Like we're going to draw a circle, but we're not going to finish it because the other half would go back there. In here, we're going to draw a small little circle. Okay. And then behind that, we're going to draw a bigger circle that hides in. So like that. And then, of course, you can color that one in. Oh yeah, he's looking tough. He's looking like a tough, like a tough kitty. Okay, sorry, my cat is sitting right over here watching me. So. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Okay, anyway, so over here for the body, we're gonna take and come down and in. Right here, we're gonna do a curved V. Okay. We're going to finish this, like pretend like this line goes back behind here and curls up. Okay. We're going to come over here just a little bit to the left of that, that curve V. And we're going to draw a smaller curve V because this half is on the other side. You get off there. All right. My cat's trying to crawl on my desk now. Would you stop? Okay. Here we go. For the legs, we're going to make it look like he's kind of standing on some kind of branch, okay? So, we're going to have two lines that come down off of that curve V, okay? And then we're going to have two lines that come down off that curve V, okay? Now, 
for this one, we're going to take and do a curl that goes like this. On the left side, so like a C. On the right side, it's going to kind of bump over like that. And then we're going to do a curve like that. And now we got to do the toes. Cool. So I like L shapes. Okay. So now we can have this big old stick that kind of comes. We'll just make this little stick go off. So we'll just make it look like, like that, right? It's a branch he's standing on. Now for the other leg, we do the same thing. Go down. Go around. Right, because that's where the stick kind of comes through. Stick's going behind. And then we do one, two, right? And then we can continue the stick on behind and off. So now it looks like you stand on the branch, right? See, he's getting there. He's getting there. He's getting cooler all by the minute. Okay. For his tail feathers, because you know you got to shake your tail feathers, right? I'm going to take and do a curve that kind of comes out and around and back like this. Right? So those are his tail feathers. And then you can take, put a couple of lines in there, and you can curl them at the bottoms if you want to. I kind of messed up, obviously, but... You get the idea. You get the tail feathers. Now, for his wing, to make it look super cool, to make it look like feathers, I found a cool pattern to make this easier, okay? So, we're going to take and do these curved Vs. Right? Like that, to the edge. Okay? Then, down here, we're going to do these longer curved Vs that go back up and in. Cool. And then down here we can just finish the feathers off like that. And what do you think, guys? You've got dun, 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 the bald eagle. Now, his before you go, where's his other wing? It's technically on the other side, kind of tucked in behind too. However, if you want to make a wing that comes over here like this, like he's waving, we could do that real quick. For example, if you wanted to add that, you could just take and do a line that curls up, right? And since he's waving, the wings, it's the, the feathers are going to kind of float out. So what we can do is just take and curl it back in a little bit. Out, in, out, in, and then... And back in. And there you have it. You have doo -doo -doo, the bald eagle. Guys, I hope you had fun drawing this with me. Um, I'll have some other cool designs later in the week. All for the week of the 4th. So, guys, I hope you have a cool, awesome holiday planned. If not, I hope you do something fun with your family or friends. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day. I will see you guys tomorrow. Love you guys.